Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to CBCP News Conversations. Once again, I am Nico Balbidina. Ganito pa rin no, ang setup natin, medyo work from home. Yeah. Uh, distance interviewing muna tayo. No? Today mga friends, no, uh, we have a very special guest. And minsan, no, I always say this that every time I have a guest, I, I call them special. Pero this time kasi, uh, I really think na mga maririnig natin, mga malalaman natin from this man is very important sa mga pinagdadaanan natin today, no? Uh, he has published 16 books ever since he started writing. He is a columnist for the Philippine Daily Inquirer. He's a cancer survivor. And I can say this also, no, that he is the internet's favorite Catholic priest. No, so let me introduce you, uh, Father Jerry Orbos. Hi. Mm, wherever you are, uh, thank you for this chance that we can share. And uh, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, let the Holy Spirit be with us in this uh, simple time together. Thank you, Nico. Yeah, good morning po, Father Jerry. No, yes, uh, yes. Yung Father Jerry, napansin ko nung sinabi kong you practically are the internet's favorite Catholic priest yeah. here in the Philippines. Nakita ko parang nag-iba yung reaction ninyo. Uh, <laughs> Nico, I, I really... Uh, I, I'm not techie at all, you know. I'm still using my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pasalamat po kay Father Arnold Biago. You know, this is the call of the time. And somehow we reach out to people. Mm. Dito, Lord, sige, gamitin po niyo kami. And I think my reflection there is simply this. God is with us always and in all ways. Mm. Gagawin lahat ni Lord para kasama natin siya. Ano mang paraan. And now... Through social media, he is definitely with us. Okay. Praise God. To God be the glory. You know, Father, uh, I talk to people. No? Uh, most of them are my <clears throat> relatives. And they told me that uh, the main reason why they love Father Jerry Orbos is because most of uh, Father Jerry Orbos' reflections are very relatable. No, kasi mm. karin, karamihan ng mga nababasa natin mga Christian books, medyo magbibigat yung mga reflections. Yeah. Pero when it comes to Father Jerry Orbos, yung mga simpleng bagay na hanapan ninyo ng mga heartfelt <laughs> and uh, mga malalalim din na reflections. Ano. So, Father Jerry, how, impor- how important is it na magkaroon tayo ng kakaibang eye, no? na kakaibang pagtingin sa mga bagay-bagay for us to have yeah. similar reflections with Father Jerry Orbos? Thank you, Nico. You know, I reflect on that. Uh, well, basically, Nico, speak from the heart. And people listen with their heart. Mm-hmm. Speak from the head. And they're just absorbing it with their brains. I believe that the heart speaks to another heart. And if you, you listen enough, long enough to what Jesus was talking about, in his messages, sure he had. He was very clear about the law. About sure his theology was perfect, but he he had a heart when he talked to people, and that's what people need most of this time. Uh, just to feel the presence of God, that's enough. More than words. If in the silence we can all just feel the presence of God, or napangiti mo lang isang tao, the presence of God is real. So, I, I'm a simple person. I, I don't have much. But I, I share from the heart and from what I have gone through. Uh, experience. And experience that you reflect on and you bring to God. And remember what Jesus was saying about what I whisper to you in the silence of your heart. You shout it from the mount, at the rooftops, from the mountain tops. Because you've, you've heard me whisper, now you can tell it to people. Hindi, kasi yung transmit mo lang ang message because you learned something and now it, para bang yung, yung wine? Wine has been crushed, nag-ferment na yan. So, ibig sabihin, uh, nagbibigay ng, ng buhay na yan. Something like that. <laughs> you know, Father, you mentioned na na it's about also finding the silence, finding the peace in order to mm. be in touch with God. Sa panahon ngayon, no, Father, uh, surrounded tayo ng crisis of the coronavirus, 
I think it's yeah. pretty hard for most people, ako included ako doon, to yeah. find that inner peace. Uh, ano po mabibigay ninyo advice for us, no, na mga ganitong medyo nahihirapang hanapin yung calm in this form? You know, because I think the, the secret is if you don't, don't stay in that silence, you, you can never have a real peace. Basically, I believe that's one of my, my favorite Psalm 4610. Be still and know that I am God. If you are still, uh, mountains can fall, uh, waves can surge around you, but you are still because you know that there is a God, He is in control of everything and everyone. He's powerful. And He is with you and He loves you. So what more? What more? I, I, I think more than anything else, if we take the road of humility, we can be at peace. Uh, there is a... Nalalo ba yung desiderata? First line uh, of the desiderata. In like us, Father. <laughs> passively amid the noise, noise and the haste and remember what peace there may be in silence. This is the time and we were all for the past 100 days. 100 days na tayo, Rico, from March 15. Uh, we had a great silence. A great retreat. Uh, so willingly or unwillingly, hey, we had this wonderful time of our lives. Now, all of a sudden, the world became quiet. The skies are bluer and, and, and the, the grass is greener. And people have become more, you know, hidden. Mm. Oh my God, we need this time. Can you imagine? We just keep going and we don't even know where we're going. But you keep going. So I believe this has been a blessing. God, I believe God has a hand in this. I keep saying, God is fixing the world. Eh? You know why? We cannot fix ourselves anymore. So this time said, I'll fix the world. In, in one, a lot of things became fixed. And damning families came together. Families started to pray. Uh, we became more humble. Wala nang pabunggahan. May mga party tayo. May mga gatherings. Gamitin ang pinakamagandang kotse. You see how the non-essentials all of a sudden were really non-essentials. Mm -hmm. You've come back to the basics. And the most basic thing for me that should happen is that we realize again that there is a God. And He loves this world. And what have we done with the world? We have abused the world. We have no respect for nature. And God said, I love the world. And don't forget this. I love the inhabitants of this world. John 3.16, for God so loved the world. He gave us His only begotten Son. So, kahit sana yun lang, na ma-realize natin yung that there is a God, and you're not Him. You're not Him. I'm not Him. Iguna, that's the most basic thing. It has humbled us all. And these are moments of grace, Nico. Mm. Moments of grace. Difficult. Economy, etc. Ang dami nag Sa akin, if I may say, ang ganda sana kung ganito na lang ang setup ng buhay. Except, Kung wala lang sa nung mga nagihirap na siya do. This would have been so perfect. Na we have slowed down. Pero ang nangyari kasi, ang daming hindi na nakakakain. Yun ang hindi magandang nangyari. I was just thinking, is, mm -hmm. is God teaching us a lesson here? Look, maganda tong setup, tahimik ng buhay, simple lang. Pero ang daming nagihirap. So what's the challenge for us? Economy, yeah, of course. Rev up the economy, but maybe, maybe lang. What if the rich and the super rich really start giving their money to the poor? No, wala na talagang magihirap. And at the same time, we retain this quiet, perfect atmosphere of sharing, silence, humility. Yun ang, maybe that's what God wants us to learn.
okay, you know what true life is? Ito, the way it's going now, mas simple lang ang buhay, but you must share, to make sure na walang nagugutom. Something like that. Maybe, maybe, if you learn that lesson, the Lord will say, okay na, wala nang COVID, you've learned your life. We have to learn our lessons, uh, Miko. Again, go back to the heart. Yeah, I like that reflection, Father. It is also very reflected on this book, no, that you wrote, mm. uh, entitled "Healing Moments." No, uh, reading this, ng basta lang basahin. Uh, it is filled with many reflections, many lessons, yeah. no, na may apply on a day-to-day basis. Mm-hmm. Pero if you look at it as a whole, nakita ko na eh, wala ko ng akin lang ulit, Father. Ha? Pero uh, it tells us a better story of how to find yourself in a healing state of mind. No? Yes. On how to thrive for healing and not just let healing happen to you without you doing anything. Mm-hmm. No? And I really love that part of the book na ganun yung tinuturo sa akin. Uh, Father, do you think po na with what is happening to us today, uh, it is also a calling for us to consider healing ourselves through our actions? Oh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> we have lessons to learn. When God allows us something, something like this to happen, mm. not to put, a, put us to the test when we go to the crucible, because, but it's because God wants to admonish us and God chastises those whom He loves. Mm. Admonition to po. So, sa akin po, pinaka basic things that we pray for. Number one, uh, sana uh, mahanap na yung drug, yung vaccine. Okay? Matapos na ito. Sama ako ko, no? Uh, okay, so number two, sana wala tayong, wala sa atin ma-COVID. You, your loved ones, keep praying, Lord, set us free from the violence. It's a second prayer. And the third prayer is, Lord, help us to learn the lessons we need to learn because of this pandemic. Kasi sayang, Miko. You went through all this. Anong anyari? Wala lang. <laughs> oh my God. God is speaking so loudly. Ang lakas. I release him. So, I'm healing, definitely. Uh, Miko, there's a beautiful uh, line I remember. It says, a, a broken heart is an open heart. When your heart is broken, it means it's already open to the divine, open to grace. Sometimes you get broken. You see, we make our own kingdoms and we are so uh, secure and uncaring because everything is just closed. When you get a broken heart, Something gets broken in your life, could be your health, your relationship, then you are open to the divine. So I believe itong nangyayari sa atin yan is healing us. Like I said, these are moments of grace. So, grace is there, it's operative. We must cooperate. That's what we should do cooperative. Listen, listen, God is speaking. Grabe, no, Father. Uh, ito lang sa maiksing kwentuhan natin ngayon. I've learned, I think, a little more than what I learned in the past uh, few days that I've read this book. And kahapon, bago ako pumunta dito sa ating studio, sa ating interview, naghalungkat ako sa bahay. Tapos may mga nakita ako. May mga iba pa pala kaming libro na written by <laughs> Father Jerry Orbos na ngayon ko lang nakita na mayroon pala kami. <laughs> oh, by the way, because, excuse me, may I just want, Sige, how I came to write a book 1999, uh, there was a, they saw a, a tumor in my vo- vocal cords. Uh, so the doctor said, we have to take a biopsy. Huh? Okay, April 1999. So thank God it was benign. Hmm. Uh, but I had to rest for at least three months. So no talks, nothing. So I started scribbling something, my thoughts, ideas, experiences, joke. I came up with the first book, Moments. 
uh, well, September, 100 pages lang naman yan. And, well, by God's grace, it, it became a, a bestseller in the National Bookstore, December. Oh, sabi ko, wow. Mm. Okay, so uh, my point is this. Uh, there's a reason for everything that happens. Like they said, right? when God closes the door, he, he opens a window. Yeah. Mm. I would not have started writing, writing a book. So I, I really believe uh, God has a plan in everything that happens. Interesting, again, I had this cancer of, uh, of the lungs. Uh, and then I start writing something. Parang ganin, mga napipiga sa buhay natin. By the way, on the side, uh, uh, I'd like to share with you, <laughs> after my surgery, medyo, medyo grogi ka pa, no? anesthesia, mm. wearing out. Parang may tumawag sa akin. Ewan ko kung hallucination, pero parang tumawag. Parang tumawag si, parang kaboses si President Era pa. Eh. Kaibigan natin si President Era. <laughs> uh, anyway, just a little story joke here. Parang sabi niya, Father Orwa, sabi niya, I heard this so, uh, humor in your lungs. <laughs> I said, hindi ko humor, tumor, sabi ko tumor. Ah, well, yeah. Oh, I understand they'll give you autopsy. Sabi Ay, sabi niya, hindi autopsy, biopsy lang, autopsy, autopsy, patay na ko yun. Ang biopsy, oh, biopsy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Man. Father, I hope it's not malignant, ha? only benevolent. <laughs> Binay mo, binay mo. Tapos sabi niya, Father, huwag kang papayag sa local anesthesia. Dapat imported. <laughs> uh, general anesthesia. <laughs> and then sabi niya, Father, balita ko. Meron ka parang, uh, ano? Sa hospital? Meron ka parang caterer? Ha? Huh? Sir, hindi ko. Cateter ang tawag na yun. <laughs> Tapos, uh, meron ka parang, nilagyan ka parang ng portalet? Ah, hindi ko, portakato yung tinatawag yun. <laughs> anyway, it's something, uh, it's a story I tell, and I, I've told it even to the uh, President mm-hmm. Era. Anyway, the point here is this. We go, focus on the humor, not on the tumor. Mm-hmm. When we go to difficulties, you have to go rise above. You know, you cannot submerge your nose below water, you have to lift up your head. And you have to help yourself. Kasi po, with humor, with joy, and that's what I like to tell you now, any suffering, hold on to this, the joy of the Lord is my strength. If you hold on to the Lord and you remain joyful, ang gaan po magaan, and the Spirit is with you, nasa yun eh. Ang sinasabi ko palagi, kung may pinagdadaanan kang pagkihirap, ano mo yan? Daanan mo lang. Hmm. Kaya nga pinagdadaanan ang tawa dyan. Huwag kang umistambay dyan. Wala na. Kung umistambay ka na, stuck ka niyan. And two things. Any suffering, any trial. Number one, nasa pagdadala yan. Ano mo dinadala? Ah. You carry it heavy, mabigat. You carry it light, magan. Nasa pagdadala yan. At nasa pagdadala yan. Prayer. The outlook and the uplook. Very important. Hindi po yan nadadala sa pagdadaldal at pagdadada. Complain ka ng complain. No. Pagdadala yan, uplook. And pagdadala yan. That helped me. And that helps me. And I think uh, the eleven commandment. Don't forget, Nico, mga kapati. Eleven commandment is don't take yourself too seriously. Problema sa atin na tayo serious eh. Alam mo pag serious ka, tipti tipti ka. I see you kana. What I'm saying is this: there is a God who has told us in so many ways. I am with you. I love you. I'll take care of you. If that doesn't register, prayerful ka, pero hindi na ka naman naniniwala dyan. Wow. Sayang. I, I just 
I have nothing. You know, yung dependence, when you realize you have no one, you have nothing, you cling into God. Ang problema ng marami kasi, have so many things at their back and call. Marami kang power, marami kang pera, marami kang contact, ganun, ganun. So, parang sila, sila lang, ang importante. You really forget your total dependence on God. Um, that's what the Lord is telling us. Trust Him more and worry less. Because the more you worry, the more you hurry to the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> well, easier said than done, Father. Yeah, but it has to be done. Mm-hmm. And it can be done. Uh, wala na. I mean, at this point, Nico, wala na kong agenda sa buhay. I'm just grateful. I'm still alive. So, pinagbigyan pa ako. And so, there must be a mission. So, I keep saying, the rest of my life, the best of my life. Yun na lang. And inspire before you expire. <laughs> that's okay. I mean, and there's heaven, Nico. That's the thing. More than ever, it gives a strong conviction. May langit, may bukas pa. There is a God and there is heaven. Nico, excuse me lang. Medyo pinahan mo na tingin si Dennis. Dennis, tingnan mo kasi Nico. Palagay mo kaya makakaakyat sa langit yan. Ay naman. Ay naman. Ay naman. Ay naman. Paala-ala lang ha, mga kapatid. We go to heaven. It does not matter what we have gone through. We are all sinners. But God doesn't focus on our sins. And He wants us to go to heaven. Uh, this is our belief. We go to heaven. At uh, paala-ala siguro, this pandemic, uh, the cancer, uh, life is a journey. We're all on a journey. Uh, but not so much a career journey, financial journey. Diyan kasi nakafocus mo iba, wow, career, finance, yan ang journey niya eh. No? Or popularity journey, wow, sikat ako, kilalang kilala. Yeah, but don't forget, life is a journey to God's heart. Question is, am I getting closer to God? I'm now like 66 years and 9 months and uh, 21 days in this world. That's my journey so far. I look back and the question, I, the bottom question is, have I come closer to God? Naging mas malapit mo ako kay Lord. Kasi mga iba, wow, ang layo na nang narating mo. Financially, etc. Allah, you know, you've come a long way, baby. But you're still a long way from God. Ang layo na nang narating mo, pero ang layo mo pa sa puso ng Diyos. Ang taas na nang lipad mo, pero high altitude, pero ang dami ka pang bad attitudes. So bottom line, the cancer, the pandemic, whatever, remind us again, our final destinations to go to heaven. Sana, you've come closer to God. Uh, fast forward. When you come before God at the end of your life, ano na sabihin natin sa kanya? I mean, uh, ako, I would, I would just say, Lord, uh, whatever I have done, lahat po galing sa niya. Ang mga kasalanan ko po, be merciful. I trust in your mercy. Wala pong karapatan. None of us deserves God's love. Little achievements we had were God with God's grace. Sana po, sana po, we'll have little regrets. Pagsisisi na nagkulang tayo ng pagmamahal. And sana pagharap natin kay Lord, yung masabi natin, Lord, minahal ko rin kayo eh. I tried my best to love you, Lord. I prayed, I took time for you. I was kind to people because you told me your command is to be kind. Lord, 
pinatawad ko na yung kaaway ko na yun. Because you told me to forgive. Ibig sabihin, uh, you mattered to me, Lord. Your life matters. Yung wala kang pagsisisi na gano'n. Iba, nakakaya talaga tayo, Diyos ko po, with all the blessing, and you realize, wow, what have I done for the Lord? I did it all my way. I did it all for myself. Wow! At sana wala tayong pagsisisi rin. You know, the pandemic cancer reminds us that life is short. And we can go anytime. Any one of us can go anytime. No matter how protected you are, kala mo, safe ka na. You would never know. So, what's the point now? If life is short, sana wala kang regrets na nagkulang ka ng pagmamahal sa mga tao. Di ba? Parang, wow. I, oh, ito na lang ha. Maraming pera dyan. Remember this. Your money will be used for your salvation or condemnation. Ganito yon. At the end of your life, the Lord will say, oh, wow. 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 Dami ka palang pera, 10 million. First question. Anak, is this good money or dirty money? So right away, your money, magagamit for your salvation or condemnation. Kung dirty money yan, oops, right away, red flag. Wala na. Sana hindi ko nalang nakuha ito. So yung sabihin mo, no? number two, 10 million. Mayroon ka bang binahagi sa iba? Tinago mo lang. Oh, kinalat mo lang sa mga anak mo at mga... It, it means you did not really share your blessing. So, and think about this. Pandemic, uh, great equalizer. Eh. Lahat tayo na, na quarantine, lahat tayo lockdown. Oh, we eat the same food. Yung kotse mo, sampu-sampu dyan, hindi mo nang magamit. These are lessons to learn. Na walang kakwenta-kwenta yung mga ibang ginagawa natin. Masikat, payabang, pagandahan ng... What for? In the end, what does it profit a man? You gain the whole world and you lose your soul. Sana po, we learn these lessons. Thank you so much, no? Father Jerry, for those uh, series of lessons, <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was going. I was actually going to ask you, no, after that, uh, after my uh, my question, kanina, na for a few reflections, no, na nakuha natin. Eh, pero mm. you've ge- you have given us so many refre- uh, reflections, no, on how to see yeah. this coronavirus pandemic, and we are very honored, no. Uh, again, we thank you so much for this opportunity, po, na naibigay niyo sa amin na makausap ka, especially okay. during these trying times. Uh, Father, uh, as we go, no. Uh, is it okay if we ask you no, to pray for uh, to pray with us? Uh, pray over us, no? Yeah. Pati sa ating mga viewers na nanonood nitong video. Uh, but you, yes, wherever you are, just bow your head. And let God bless you. Let Mama Mary embrace you. Do not worry about so many things. What matters is that, God, you are here. Father, you are here. Jesus, you are here. Holy Spirit, you are here. Mama Mary, you are here with me. Saints, angels, you are with us. And enough for us to know that you, we are loved and that you are in control, O oh God. And in everything that's happened or is happening, there is a reason and there is a mission. We honor you, O oh most loving God. Please forgive us. Patawad po sa kayabangan namin sa inyo, Panginoon. Mayabang po kami. Nakakalimutan namin kung sino kami at sino kayo. Our riches, our power, our work have blinded us. Many times feeling that we don't need you. Patawad po sa kayabangan namin, Panginoon. At madalas po, hindi kami nakikilig. Madalas po, sinasaway ka pa namin. We sin. At Panginoon, patawarin niyo kami sa aming mga kayabangan sa isa't isa. God, help us to be human 
and to be kind. Mankind. Ang kulang, walang human, wala nang kind. Give us that grace to be more understanding, respectful, generous. At Panginoon, thank you for reminding us again na mahal niyo po kami. Thank you. Lord, we trust in you. When will this end? We don't know. You know. And help us to learn our lessons and bring them in our journey to your heart. Panginoon, salamat po. Thank you po. We praise you and glorify you. And we trust in you. And I pray for all of us, mga kapatid, lalong lalo na po'y nahihirapan, whatever you're going to. The key is humility. Be humble to God. And when you're humble to God, He knows everything. So, Lord, bahala na po kayo. No problems with your relationships. Be humble to one another. No, no need to be proud. No need to carry the heavy burdens. Come to me, all you are tired and heavily burdened. I will give you rest. My yoke is easy. And my burden is light. And Lord, you told us, learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. It is the biggest lesson we need to learn. So thank you. God bless you. And Mama Mary loves you. I bless all of us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray for us. We're in this together. And uh, let me end with this. My Nokia. Mayroon yan pa, na? Ano to? Yung anti-radiation. Adaban sa cancer. Actually po, madalas po, hindi ko makita tong cellphone ko na ito. Nasaan na ba yun? Ang hirap pa natin. One day, I said, lagyan ko kaya ng red ribbon para yeah, nandyan lang siya. Madali lang makita. Hmm. And you know, my reflection in this is this. My cancer, because of cancer, nakita ko na kung anong buhay. Mas madali nang makita. Ah, ganun pala ang buhay. Life became clearer precisely because of that suffering I went through. And this pandemic should make us see life now clearly more clearly, and, and value life more dearly, and stay to God more closely. So then, yan po sana. Years from now, when we look back, we go that pandemic. We got itong pandemic na to. Did you ever think mangyayari ito sa buhay natin? Di ba? Tuloy-tuloy ng buhay, biglang boom. Low bat, dead bat. The world stopped. Maybe years from now, uh, Rico and Dennis, may kwekwento mo sa mga anak mo, no? alam niyo anong panahon ng pandemic, ganito ang buhay. Parang kinekwento ng mga magulang natin, alam niyo anong panahon ng hapon? Hindi tayo makarelate on. This is it. May we look back years from now and say, I learned my lessons about life because of what happened. At the time when it was happening, it is happening, we cannot explain it. We cannot understand why, why, why. Stop asking why. And just keep saying, Lord, okay, where? Where are you leading us? Lead on, Lord. Lead us, Lord. And finally, Denise, Nico, mga nagkikiligyan. Ang buhay kasi parang lies. Basta what is important is yung mahalaga. And remember this, wherever you are, you are there. And... God is there. Ang buhay kasi parang life. That is okay? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you so much. Thank you for the, the good work you're doing. Bringing mm-hmm. God oh, in, in, in these ways that so beautiful. Thank you. God bless you.
So again, no viewers, uh, my dear friends, thank you so much for watching CBC Videos Conversations and for tuning in no, with our conversation today. Again, I am Nico Belvedina and I was just with Father Jerry Orbos. Thank you so much. Stay safe and stay home. Amen. Amen.